This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting the Color Tools in Apple Final Cut Pro 10.6. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short tutorial, I'll show how to adjust skin colors and fix color casts using the color wheels in Final Cut. This is the green girl. Remember how before we isolated on her white t-shirt. There's other ways we can fix this. Let's select here. Again, go back to the crop tool, but this time I want to isolate on something. What happens if she was not wearing a white t-shirt? The way that you fix that is you isolate on skin because skin, as we've seen, goes right on the skin tone line. Now here there's a tool that I almost never use, but we talked about it at the nine o'clock. See this hue command. This allows me to rotate the hue, let's click over here. I can rotate the hue for the entire clip. I'm just gonna rotate that around. It's like pivoting it on an axis. And now we'll increase the saturation just a bit by pulling this up a little. And let's take off the crop by clicking reset. Okay, we'll pull our mids down a bit. Pull our shadows down a bit. Look at that. Before, after. Before and after. Now, when you're isolating on skin, you never isolate on the face. There's way too much opportunity for makeup. I tend to work with arms or legs or most, most commonly the throat, which is what we see here. Here's a, an example of this is sort of both color and, and grayscale values. Hmm. Look at this. Look how far off it is. It's not on the skin tone line. The skin tone line should be within a degree or two, really, really close. But is this spike here, is that her face or is that the yellow background sound blanket? Hmm, hard to tell. Let's find out. Let's isolate on the skin of her throat. And look at that, there's almost no color there and it's rotated toward red. So let's rotate this back and then let's increase the saturation of the midtones by just simply grabbing this and dragging it and then pumping it up to give ourselves some color in the skin. And now when we reset this, it's still dark. So let's pull the shadows down and let's pull the highlights up right about there. Look at that. Now we can open this a bit if we want to try to pick up some of the pattern in her shirt. This is before and this is after. And yes, look at that huge spike toward ugly yellow coming from that sound blanket. So the sound blankets, they really are that ugly in real life. But now we've got Lisa's skin perfectly set. Now you could look at this and say, Larry, this is a bit too yellow. Maybe I want to take out some of the yellow from her skin in a mid-tone. I can pull that back. I still have control over it. But notice how by isolating on something on her body that didn't have makeup, her throat in this case, I can dial in exactly where that skin needs to be, which gets me precisely correct, and then look at it by eye and say, I need to take some of the yellow out of her because it looks like she's picking up some of the yellow bounce from that background. This is a very useful chart. I'm indebted to Alexis Van Herkman for creating the chart because we see that all of these different ethnic groups have exactly the same color, plus or minus two degrees above or below the skin tone line. What varies is the saturation and the grayscale levels. This is not to say that there's not individual variation, because of course there is, but if you're trying to make your actors look normal, or you're dealing with a color cast, or you're dealing with a poor level of exposure, isn't it nice to know what normal skin looks like? And the answer is, of course, yes. This gets you in the ballpark. Then if they happen to be heavily drinking and their face is flushed, okay, you can dial in some red, because that's a special case. But this defines what normal skin tone settings look like. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting the color tools in Apple Final Cut Pro 10.6. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 331. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and 
time, you can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software. We update it monthly. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.